Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to put together our week one budget for September 2019. So in front of me, I've got my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. This is the 2019-2020 version and I'm using Sarah Marie stickers um, for my budget stickers today. I'm also using some script stickers from the Functional Planner Company. So let's go ahead and get started. I haven't showed this to you guys yet. Um, but this is my new organization binder for all of my Planner Kate stickers. Um, I was able to get these dividers from a shop on Etsy. Um, I believe it's like Doodles. I'll leave it down below for you guys in case you're interested. But I love these dividers. They're so cute. And she also makes these little covers and everything's like that and everything like that. So um, I have my budget section back here and we're gonna be using some stickers from back here today. So um, let's see. So let's do maybe some purple and maybe some orange. Um, or should we do pink? Pink, we'll do this pink one here. So we'll do our income over here. You guys can't even see that but I'm gonna move this over a little bit. Okay. All right, cool. And then I've got these income script stickers from the planner, com the functional planner company. Put that there. And I have explained this before, but our income is not our paycheck amount. It is whatever we've rolled over from the previous month or the previous week, whatever our current um, you know, checking account balance is plus any miscellaneous income that has come in, plus our paycheck amount. So it's basically like in a lump sum, what are we working with for this first week of September? And our weeks go from the first paycheck of the month. So like for example, we're paid on the 6th, which is a Friday, September 6th. Bear with me here, you guys. Like I swear my brain, like, I just picture like there's some, some wires just like cross haired in there. I have major, major pregnancy brain. So if I don't make sense or whatever, or lose my train of thought, I apologize ahead of time. I'm going to do my best. <laughs> but so the paycheck one is from September 6th through September 12th. And this is where I can also see, oh, these are the bills that are due during that week and everything. So um, as far as the income that we're working with or like the total amount or balance that we're working with, that is going to be $1,781.32. So that is what we are working with. And then I think I'm gonna do orange next, and we're gonna write our bills. Now bills to me are pretty much anything with a due date. So um, let's see. So I've got my little bill script stickers here. So super cute. I love that font too. And as you saw, we had two bills due during this first week. We have iCloud storage, which actually already came out, came out really early. Actually, it came out on Tuesday. So I might need to adjust that due date, but and then we have Southwest Gas, which should come out by the 12th of September. So we'll write that down. So we have iCloud storage. And we also have Southwest Gas. And iCloud storage was 1087. That actually already came out, so we'll just go ahead and write that in. And then Southwest Gas is $32. And that has not come out yet. Okay, and then we'll grab another pink sticker. And we will do our expenses. Which those are like living expenses, so groceries, gas, um, all that kind of stuff. Let's see, I've got my expenses script sticker here. 
It's basically our cash envelopes, which I will be stuffing in tomorrow's video, so stay tuned for that. Now, as far as expenses are concerned, we have grocery, which is our monthly grocery budget. You guys will be seeing my monthly meal plan and monthly grocery haul, I believe next week, possibly, I think next week. So definitely stay tuned for that. And then we've got household, which basically pays for, um, you know, cleaning products, hygiene products, things of that nature. And then we have eating out, which we do have a separate eating out budget now because of the way that we're grocery shopping. And we used to combine it in one category called food and it was for the whole month. But now we're, like I said, using anything, you know, extra from this grocery budget for picking up meat that's on sale or just saving for, you know, food that we might need later on down the road. Say we, I don't know, forgot something um, from a recipe or whatever it may be. And that inevitably happens. So um, the next thing we have is my husband's pocket money. And then we have, let's see, how do I want to, I'll just put, you know what, what I'll do is I will actually make this one, I'll just lump them together. So we have pocket money in general. And then we have my daughter's commission money, which is the money she can earn for doing certain chores around the house. We have miscellaneous cash, which is just for that, it's kind of like a buffer. And then we're gonna set aside the full amount that we need for grocery pickup for the month, which we give ourselves $40 per week for grocery pickup, basically for produce. And the way that I figure that out as I look at, you know, how many Saturdays are there in the month? So for September, we have one, two, three, four Saturdays. So we're budgeting $160 for grocery pickup. For grocery pickup. And then we have uh, gasoline. And that is it for like living expenses. So for monthly groceries, we're budgeting $400 in cash. Household is going to be $50 in cash. Eating out will be $80. And I figure out eating out the same way I do grocery pickup. So we do uh, takeout Thursdays. So I count how many Thursdays are there in the month. There's one, two, three, four, or I'm sorry, I start here. The 12th, the 19th, the 26th, and the 3rd. So there's four Thursdays, and we budget $40 per week. So, and I take it out the first half um, on the first paycheck of the month and the last half on the second paycheck of the month. Everything's like that with the exception of the monthly grocery money because we spend that pretty much all in one go. And then my husband does prefer to have his pocket money um, all at one time. So I take out all of his at, at one time. So for pocket money, my husband will get his full $80 and I'll get 40 because I like to split mine up. And I split it up because it's easier on our, our checking account. We don't have to take out as much cash, but also because it helps me personally stick to my budget. Like if I have my whole lump sum of money in one go, like it'll get spent so quick and then I'll be so sad at the end of the month that all of my money is gone. So that's kind of why I do that. So that'll be 120 for pocket money. Commission will be $10 for the first two weeks of September for my daughter. She can earn up to 20 a month, so we'll take another 10 out later. Miscellaneous is 25 for the first half of the month. Grocery pickup, will set aside the whole amount that we need for the whole month for 160. And then gas will be 300 for the month. I'm slightly worried that that is not gonna be enough, but we will see. So then the last thing I'll do is I will put in our rollover amount. And this is what is gonna be rolling into the next week to both help us pay for bills and then also to go into savings. And I'm gonna put my little piggy, find a little pink one. I like putting this little pink um, piggy there. Okay, so that takes care of this binder. 
I'll probably do a more thorough walkthrough of the binder um, soon for you guys to show you like my whole sticker storage system. But I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I feel like I finally have like sticker organization piece for once. Okay, and then we've got the rollover script stickers. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> okay, so our rollover amount is the income minus our bills minus our expenses. And you know what? I want to move this down just one more. I like spacing this out if I have the room because I am all about like that clean like white space look. So our total rollover amount is going to be... <laughs> My daughter just got home from school. Okay, $593.45. All right. And then I'm just gonna close off the budget by putting in some washi. I think I'm gonna use this little strip here. And we'll just close off. I, I'll put it right on the bottom down here. Oh my gosh, she has like the most contagious laugh. I can't help but laugh when I hear her laugh. It's so cute. Okay. All right, you guys, so that is it for our Paycheck One budget. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos. If you have any questions or comments at all, let me know in the comment section down below. I do have everything that I personally use for budgeting linked down below all the time for you guys. So the planner that I use, all the stickers I use, you guys can find all of it down below, including like the various wallets I use because I switch it up quite a bit and everything. So definitely check that out if you're interested and I will chat with y'all later. Bye.